my channel. So I used to have a YouTube channel. It took me so long to make videos and I thought why not make one about Lush that I can not like have to do like funny effects on my face which broke my computer so <sighs> YOLO I have a huge passion for Lush we're gonna be doing Lush news and collections today I'm doing a collection Before I show you what I've got, I'm not bragging. Word of flex, but okay. No, I'm, I'm not bragging because I don't have a bath every single week. I have showers a lot more, like showers every single day, you know, shower squad. And I like to keep my bath bombs for a long time, um, up to the point where they're like just a crumbling point before I use them, which is a little bit of a problem and I need to get over it. Also, I have no clue where to look on my camera, so this is gonna be a whole video of people going, why are you looking in that direction? I'm looking straight into the camera right now and I'm gonna try and look there for the rest of the lesson. I have been at school for way too long. I'm also, I really wanna work at Lush, but you have to be 16, so. I've got my MacBook with me with the Lush website on just in case I get stuck with names which I know I won't but I'm snuggled up in my blanket because that's where I am all the time first of all I'm in the collection I'm just gonna get started with a little thing I have cut up all of my um, Candy Mountain Yule Log into this jar um, It smells so good, it's like, I really like it some days, but some days I hate it. I bought five on Boxing Day. That was the day where I went a little bit too crazy at Lush, so. First of all, I'm starting with like bubble bars, which honestly, I don't have much of, because I'm in there for the bath bombs, because I literally have no effort whatsoever. It's literally bad. Um, we'll start off with my only bath melt. This one is Plum Pudding from Christmas. Plum Rain Scented, which if you did not know, which you probably wouldn't, is my favourite Lush scent in the entire world. It's got fresh plum in it. Let me actually check of the shower gel what is in it. I don't work at Lush yet, so I don't know every single ingredient. I know it's got fresh plum juice in. Boshi Infusion and Carrageen Extract, which you did not know is in um, shower jellies to make them wobble, so. But that's probably not in this. I'd say Osmanthus Absolute on Boshi, in, in Boshi Infusion and fresh plum juice are in this. Main ingredients, I'd say. It just smells so fresh. It just reminds me of rain, to be fair. I love it. I love how I just spent like five minutes on one product next is a favorite during the half term let's just say lush employees know there'll be in workshop galore on this it's so glittery like is literally an issue how glittery this is um it it smells really citrusy like not really like and not as in like cheer up buttercup citrus, but like sort of a light citrus. It's got tangerine, sweet wild orange oil, and <coughs> lemon oil. I can really smell the tangerine. It's a light citrus. It's like a nice lemonade. This is, um, I don't know how to say, I don't know if it would be creamy because it hasn't got an A in it, it's C-R-E-M-E. -E. Um, this is one of my favourites from last year and it is back this year which made me cry and I was shook, obviously as you can tell. 
it's got spearmint in if I am right. Um, it's also got I'm pretty sure cocoa butter, um, maybe she butter, shea butter. I am, um, I don't know. So this is a bubble rune, it's not your normal bubble bar. I'm literally looking in the wrong section of the website. I thought I knew more, honestly. No. Whilst we wait, can I just say, I've almost run out of Lord of Mistral. I've only got a little bit left and that is literally one of my favorite scents in the entire world. I know more about bath bombs than bubble bars. <laughs> Shape. See, I was right. Oh my god, I shouldn't have run dressed out itself. <coughs> Fresh toothpaste. Not toothpaste, toothpaste, but I, it's just a lovely scent. So, this one's probably one of the classics. This one, some people call the Blue Comforter. It's not, sis. This has got patchouli in it. Different scent from Melisis. <coughs> this is blue skies and fluffy white clouds. Um, it's the most super earthy. Oh, I love it. I usually split into two. Some people could split into four. Girl, no, I can't. I want a lovely scent. Cinnamon leaf oil, patchouli oil, and frankincense resinoid. I love how I'm slowly getting a blocked nose during a lush video. <laughs> Great. Um, it's very calm. Nice Friday scent, Friday or Sunday scent, like, oh, relax, relax. So, bath bombs. Note how my bubble baths like that. Um, I'm not going to be able to do that, bath bombs. It's filled to the brim. So, number one, my most exclusive one. <laughs> It's not too exclusive anymore, actually. I've got one which is more exclusive, probably. Um, this is Cocktail Sieve. Pardon me. And... It smells so nice. It's sort of florally. It reminds me of a soap, to be fair. Um, this one has got roses in it. Pretty sure Ylang Ylang. Um, it's made, like... So the scent would, like, go together with the bath that you're using so you cut up a bubble bar you put it in and this is actually a slow fizzer uh which means like it won't fizz fast so like it the bubbles will come out like they flow out and like it won't disintegrate automatically like really quickly yeah ylang ylang rose absolute and jasmine absolute just one ingredient i was missing that time <laughs> i'm impressed so next one is probably my favorite and I don't even know any of the ingredients in this, which is <sighs> sad. Most Lush stores aren't actually, are not getting rid of this uh, with the um, bath bombs that are coming in. They have to get rid of some, so. So this one's my very damaged one that I've had to stop for ages. I did say I do like to keep loads of bath bombs. I still sort of smell it, but maybe that's this leaking on. It's literally the most beautiful. It's got um, probably cocoa butter in, neroli oil, and lime. Lemon as well. Cocoa. I'm smart. Smart, smart, smart. So over and over, I can't look at ingredients because unfortunately this has been discontinued. What they did with this originally is it's actually like they dipped a little bit of must be cocoa and shea butter on top. Um, um so in over and over there is definitely lemon or lemon lime and maybe neroli. It's similar. But so it's quite big. It has pink on the inside, I'm pretty sure. Mine is crumbling. Um I've never had it before, actually, fun fact. So I've never used it in the water. I just got it and then I was like, I looked online and it's like, leaving soon or whatever, I don't know. I just found out, but it's not available anymore. Next one is a Christmas product. Snow Fairy Jelly Bomb. I had a love relationship with 
slavery i was obsessed i had the big bottle of it and then one day i literally went in the morning i was like it's just a certain feel about it so i don't think i'm gonna use it until christmas until i can fall in love with it again um girl trust me i will use this but like it's not for a while next is more of my favorite christmas bath bombs it's the shoot for the stars inside i'm pretty sure there is like another star i took i'm pretty sure there was four so this is the honey i washed the kids scent which is like honey um tangerines or orangey lovely this is the bath melts on the side so you get a moisturizing bath as well as like a lovely shoe it makes a cracking color obviously it's it was a deeper blue color but a controversial one i would say um some people are saying it's not worth it scent isn't that strong and um it doesn't make the bath balls like super colorful whatever i don't know some people don't like it i'm just saying it's overpriced one thing says um this has actually got oud oil which is very very like hard to find with lush's ethical properties um i literally Why are there so many people in my house, okay? It smells to me so good, so luxurious. I've actually had this one for a while. I did get another one, but like the opening, like this little whole bit was so small on it. I was like, oh, sis. We have a rare one. You can barely get hold of this now. More tea and sympathy. Did I even say that's called goddess? Oh my god, they just restocked it. Oh no, they've sold out. It's got bergamot, green tea, blue corn flowers. I'm, it's definitely got neroli, and that was the first thing I said. <sighs> got like a green tea, uh, like a tea bag in the middle. Earl Grey tea bag. It smells so good. And people are like, thank you, tea. I, I don't like tea, but. I like the scent of this, so it's very floral. I love it. Next is Wild Butterfly. This one? Mm. Okay. The people in my lovely local Lush store, Lush Peterborough, were like, YOLO. And they let me test it in store, so I was very excited. This has got olive leaf absolute, pettigrain oil, and sweet wild orange oil. Oh, it just smells so good. It, it looks like a sunset in the water and smells like one. It's so weird. To me, it smells like a sunset. Not too strong. Just, oh, perfect for chilling. I'm going to need to sneeze in a minute. This is what's bringing on my nose. Oof. Next is Intergalactic. This is it. This one's fresh and right. And I just, this was like around the colour that this was. This is so strong. It just is the perfect, perfect bath bomb. Oh. Sorry, I just get really excited about that. Oh. Peppermint. Uh, Peppermint, grapefruit oil, uh, vetiver oil, and cedarwood oil. Drink it. It's really fresh. Which is what I like. I like fresh bath bombs. Next is marigold flower. This is literally my one of my favorite uh, Mother's Day things that's come out. I basically love Marigold. I fell in love with it ever since I've been using my Soak and Flow shampoo. It's got a very earthy, lovely scent, but it's like not too earthy. It's like it has got like bergamot and grapefruit in to uplift it. it smells citrusy, but like very earthy. 
I love it. I love this scent so far. I haven't had it in the bath yet, but like this one, I can tell is going to crumble real fast. So it has like a little thing where you put your note on it, and I've seen some great things of these. Um, the the paper is actually really drawable, so like you, you don't have to worry about like little paper bits. Next one, last one. It's a deep, 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 deep one in my heart. Um, this one I was actually gifted by my local Lush. I go now all the time. I talk to all the people. They're just so lovely. This is called Rose Bombshell. Um, it's huge. Like, let me grab a normal size bath bomb. Okay, hey, um, let me grab the smallest one I have. Okay, you Okay. It's the Rose Jam scent. And it has got... Oh, I mean, that, that has a little bit of orange on for my over and over. Over and over is literally just doomed my life. Um, it breaks into two halves. It has got Rose Absolute um, and Sicilian Lemon Oil and Rose Oil. Those make the scent. But what is really special is in the inside, so that, that really brings the price up, sis, is actually the dried rose petals and sea salt. So this like little sea salt bit of uh, dried rose petals, as you see, honestly, amazing. So it's got these little sea salt, um, I think it's coarse sea salt, yeah it is, uh, it's coarse sea salt. And sea salt, if you don't know, softens your skin, makes it peaceful. So, I mean, I don't have the biggest collection of them all. But I like to say, I've got a biggish collection. And if anyone wants to dispute me on that, please do. I'm happy with it. So that's been that, guys. Thank you very much for tuning into my first video. Be sure to like, if you can stand me, tune in on Friday where I'll be having lush news. Woo! Which is going to be all about Liverpool. I'm so excited. I'm going to get out my blanket and into bed. I'm so lazy. Um, I shall see you later.